Hi, this is Byron. I'm going to walk you through a uh, mashup we put up online recently that uses Yahoo Pipes to create a uh, uh, RSS feed from Craigslist apartment listings with the locations, and then we're taking those and putting them on a map where we can then click on points, launch the listings in a browser, manage or track the listings to be able to keep track of broker information, the rent, etc., as we go through the apartment hunt process, and then ultimately analyze our options and create a uh, screenshot with some uh, listing summaries to be able to send in an email or printout. Um, so the first thing I want to do actually is I'm going to pop up pipes and uh, just show you how this how this works and it's built in the back end. So here's my pipe that I built. Um, we can uh, enter in some parameters here and hit run pipe and you'll see that it'll uh, query Craigslist and then give us back a uh, RSS feed. Um, and what's nice about the pipe is it actually produces a uh, REST API, which if I click on the get as RSS, we'll be able to see that. And then I can use that REST API through Proto to be able to uh, then query the pipe uh, multiple times for different search phrases to do something a little bit more uh, uh, useful with it on the consumption side. So going back to the pipe, I'll uh, click on edit real quickly just to show how that works. So here's the pipe that I built. These are the uh, input parameters. So you can see query, result starts number, and the bedrooms, which uh, we used before. And, and then the base URL is just New York's Craigslist. You could just you could change that if you want. Um, and it fetches that URL, um, then uses this handy location extractor um, from the Yahoo operators over on the left, which will look through all of the elements in the feed and see if there's anything that looks like an address in there, and then be able to uh, filter those out based on the likelihood of having a good address to produce a rich feed coming out. So back in Proto, the output of this we're using to, to build a list of um, apartment listings that actually have the location on them, and then, and then manage those listings. So let's do a couple things just to see how this works. Um, one is I'm going to click on one of these uh, listings here. We'll take this one down at the bottom. I'll click Launch Listing in Browser. That's going to bring up my default browser and then show the original Craigslist listing. Um, I'll go back to Proto. So perhaps we don't need to see this one again. So I'm going to click Manage and then filter it out. I'll hit Blacklist. And now when I go back to the map, you'll see that there's a note that I need to refresh the map points. So that's fine. I'll click this and you'll see that listing go away. Uh, and let's zoom in a little bit here. The other thing we can do is click on a listing and then go to manage or add this to save listings. And let's add in a lease term of one year. Monthly fees will be zero. Broker fee will be eight and a half percent, say. Um, and we can fill out the broker email and comments later. Um, so we'll save this one to our uh, database. And now you can see on the right hand side, I can actually track all the parameters I need um, with these uh, with these listings. And so I'm going to draw your attention down to this view which uh, says email view for selected listing. And let's click on one where the broker email address is filled in and I know that there's an email from the broker. So this is looking actually in my Outlook uh, inbox to pull in any emails um, and show the date and subject line for this selected email address tying in the desktop. And I could click show Outlook email and that will pull up the original email. So once I get a list of apartments that I'm interested in, I'll click Analyze Your Options. And this will allow me to put the apartments that I've selected onto a map. And it's going to show me the apartments, uh, the tags here will show me the total all-in monthly cost. That's actually calculated using the rent, the broker fee, over the lease term, month, and the other monthly costs, as well as the number of roommates you can put up over here. So what we have now is a totally custom view with um, the tags showing the total monthly rent. And if I click on one of these, I can see my comments that are associated with that apartment as well. Um, so the last thing we're going to do is click grab a screenshot and email this to your future roommates. And when I click on this, it's going to start a screenshot in Proto and I can select the area that I want. And then this will push to Outlook and actually send keys using VBA to paste that in with the description and the total monthly rent. So I have an email with all the details I need ready to send out to anybody else. So that just about wraps it up. Uh, what we have is a custom view taken by um, using the Yahoo Pipes uh, REST API that it publishes. We're doing multiple search phrases over here and taking the union of these results over a couple pages deep so that we don't just look at the top 25. Um, taking this whole set of listings, managing that process through filtering as well as keeping track of the details, and ultimately getting a completely custom view that shows us our total online monthly rent. So in wrap up, this tool is available from our website. Go ahead and download it and you can play around. I'm not going to go into the building environment in this, but there's other videos from our website, protosw.com, that will show you how to uh, get started building. Um, and uh, there's a free download, so enjoy. Bye.